Hey friends, today we're going to talk about using live instruments with Ableton Live. Live offers a lot in terms of effect processing and so many other possibilities for just taking an instrument and running it through all the really cool things that Ableton can do. Um, but there's a lot of pitfalls that you also might find yourself falling into. And so today we're going to go through an entire crash course on how to use a live instrument, like a guitar, a flute, your voice, whatever you want to use uh, through Ableton Live. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to plug it in. Um, and so let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. I'm using a, a UAD interface. And here in my uh, audio input device, I want to make sure that my, my audio interface is selected. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that my inputs are configured. So I have all these different inputs. I've only uh, enabled the one and two mono inputs here. Uh, and that way I can see those inputs in live. So I'll just take an audio track right here. Uh, as you can see, I've already set up a couple effects, but I need to select input one because that's the input that my guitar is coming down. All right. Uh, the next thing I need to do is I either need to, if, the, if the, the track is set to monitor, I need to arm the track in order to hear the input, or I could just click on the monitor in and that way it will, it'll just be a live input and it'll be armed regardless of what happens. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a listen to what I have thus far. Okay, well, I'm getting signal, and I see it coming through live, but I'm hearing my guitar twice. So let's check out, let's try to figure out why that's happening. So when I hit this note, first of all, I, it sounds like there's a delay, that that signal is hitting twice. What's happening is that I'm hearing the signal coming through the Apollo interface, uh, the dry signal, and I'm also hearing the signal coming through Ableton Live. So what you need to do in order to make that not happen is, let's talk about this real quick, it's called direct monitoring, direct hardware monitoring. What, what, what you're listening to is the signal coming into the interface and then and, and directly back to your ears, then going into the software and coming out of the, the outputs of Ableton. So the way that you fix that is in uh, sometimes it's on the audio interface itself as a, as a physical control, or sometimes, in my case, it's in the, uh, the software that comes with the interface. I just have to, you can see my voice is coming down track two here, and here's track one where my guitar is coming in. I just have to mute that signal. Okay, so here's it without muted. And when I mute it, now you can hear that just nice signal coming through Ableton Live and being processed by this amp and cabinet thing right here. Okay, so so that's the first thing. The second thing that, that's, that's a really easy pitfall to fall into is, listen to this, I'm going to get my guitar close to the mic so you can hear. You can hear that I'm playing a note and it's taking a while for the note to get through live and come back out, so there's a lot of delay. And as a player, I just can't live with that. That's just too weird to play. I, there's no way I'd be able to jam with other people. So in the preferences, the next thing you want to do is you want to take a look at your your buffer size, okay? Um, I've, I've gone into this in, in a lot of depth in other videos if you want to learn more about it, but if you increase your buffer size, that's just what that's going to do is it's going to uh, free resources up to make sure that you don't have any artifacts in your audio, but the higher that it goes, the more latency, input latency and output latency, you're going to add to your whole system. So in order to use a live instrument with Ableton, you want to make sure that your, your, your buffer size is low enough so that you, you don't have this long, that's uh, 29 milliseconds, that's such a long uh, uh, delay time latency time that there's no way you'll, you'll be able to play with it. So all you have to do is just make this number shorter. I'm going to put it on 64 samples. So now I only have eight milliseconds of, of input latency. And now, now I have. Now it's instant. And that's really great. Now I can just do all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, I, I won't know that I'm having any sort of delay. All right. So that's pretty much it. It's really, really simple. Um, what, one thing I wanted to show you, though, is, is what Live is capable of doing. You can do so many cool things with all these different weird effect processors and stuff. One thing I did is I took the uh, grain delay and made a little preset on it. And now you can hear. <laughs> so hopefully that's a little bit of inspiration for you. Uh, go ahead and try it out. Plug in your stuff, plug in your mic, and and, and make cool effects. And uh, if you got any use out of this video, uh, consider subscribing to the channel or uh, donating to the, the Patreon page. Uh, so much love, everybody. Enjoy uh, playing your instruments through live. Thanks.